I have been under the weather since like Monday. Today is Friday Japan time and I have been completely sick and just immobile and today I finally managed to get all the strength that I need together to actually shoot this video. I might sound a little congested and you know like I'm kind of talking through my nose or something. If you hear that well that's why. I don't have COVID okay I just have a common cold. So today's video is a little different. I am bringing you ladies nails today and what makes me so excited about this topic is because look I could go on a rampage for like days because let me tell you guys okay in Japan right being here y'all like for those of y'all that live here y'all know like work is the thing here work 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 like just work and that gets so stressful like it gets super super stressful and sometimes or most of the times you forget about yourself like you forget about your you know care routines your hair like just everything you just tend to let yourself go because it's just work sleep eat work sleep eat and it's just this endless cycle and if you work on the weekends which most people do then you know that's just the cherry on top and i know right now i'm looking super crazy but um my nails my hair and my lashes are my biggest things like i need to make sure that i'm on top of at least this part of beauty care because you get so sucked up sucked into the system or like the routine of working all the time you know what i mean all right y'all forgive me because i had to <laughs> i might look like i'm a little high up but i had to adjust my seat because it is story time this one time right that i went to this one salon and i asked this lady to give me a coffin that was straight on the sides narrow sharp this lady's like okay i got you so she you know filed my nails right you know she was doing my acrylic nails she filed my nails right and that was great and then like it was time to put the gel polish over this lady basically put like a whole bunch of gel polish on my nail a whole blob of it on my nail I'm looking like so anyway you know she did that and i was like oh. so then she put the top gel coat on top right and that's when i had to say something and i was like lady like that's a lot i'm like is that gonna cure right is it she's like oh well what happens is the shape just really you know always gets bad when you put gel polish on it okay but i'm looking at this thing and this thing went from a coffin to like a blob like square if i had a picture i'm gonna look for a picture and i'm probably gonna add this And I paid $140 for that. No design, no stones, nothing. Just one solid color and I asked for one thing. So then like, you know, I was so upset and I was like, yeah, I'm not going there no more. Y'all overcharge and y'all got all these different style, uh, nail lists, nail artists or whatever. And they still can't get the job right. So I'm not even going to keep testing my patient. But paying $100 and over every month is an extra bill if it's just for nails. I was thinking, why not take that $200 or $140 I'm going to spend monthly and invest that one time to buy everything that I need just so I can learn how to do it myself and do it better to my liking. So now that I got story time out the way, I am super excited to show you guys what I purchased. I went ahead and bought this whole entire nail kit that has like everything you need from the monomer to the nail brush to just everything like the powders, basically whatever you need to start your um, acrylic nail journey. You got everything that you need. The only thing that um, it obviously doesn't come with is a drill, a nail drill machine or, an, or a UV LED lamp, which I don't have either yet. Um, I ordered some and it's still on the way so once that comes in I'll probably do a quick review over that too and let you guys know whether I recommend the products or not but um, this is my first time doing anything to do with nails like this is completely new for me I'm gonna show you guys a tutorial of me doing that as well in a separate video but this is just a review video to show you guys what I purchased and what I think of it based on what came with the package and in another video you're gonna see me try it out so just stay tuned and keep on watching. Alrighty guys, so, okay, excuse me, cause this box is opened, was opened, it's already open. It was opened. When I ordered it, it didn't send straight to Japan. It, I had to send it to a US address mailbox that I have and then ship it here. And in that, I told them they can repackage my stuff. So I think that's why like one of my stuff in the um, package broke 
it's the monomer glass right here but i this is ghetto super glued this together because i went to the dollar store and i couldn't find any and i really really needed one of this and it broke so i contacted the company and hopefully they're going to compensate me or send me another one or figure something out or i don't know but i'm just gonna have to make a few so anyway this is the box of the kit it's open as i already told y'all and y'all can already see right here just the collection right here right and behind the box this is the listing of all the stuff that they have like and they have like different um kits they have the young nails the company's called young nails by the way but they have a young nails um like a core kit the um they have another one it's like the speed kit and basically based on whichever kit that you buy probably the products work a little differently i mean it's all the same but i think like the the speed one from what i remember based on a, a youtube review i saw i think the acrylic powders dry quicker and so it's probably better for those who are more advanced but basic people like me like noobs um starters whatever you want to call it people like us that just don't know what we're doing necessarily the core kit is highly recommended because it has everything that you need and it's just a good um a good selection and variety for you to start from so since the box is already open i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what's in it so this is really weird because this brush thing was like poking out of one of the boxes i don't know what's going on and now the bristles okay whatever so this is the brush i think this is like a nail brush so like usually they use like um it looks like a makeup powder brush to dust off your nails once they like drill your nails or file it but this is what you can use to basically you know dust off stuff off your nails um this already does come with its own nails like tip tips nail tips it comes with its own nail tips in clear and what they call natural and there is a bit of a curve like a heavy deep curve i don't know if y'all can tell but there's quite a curve to the nails like maybe i should just take it out so y'all can see what i'm talking about okay so i'm gonna just take out one tip so y'all can see yeah this is really curved and i, I guess to each their own but y'all see how curved this thing is right so i mean obviously you know you adjust to see what fits your nail and whatnot but this is super curved and some people probably don't like it and what i saw in one in one youtube video the girl in the video did not like the fact that it was super curved and recommended a different um set of nail tips that you could buy on amazon which i did and i have them right here i think a lot of y'all might be familiar with it but it's called the bt art box false nails so it's this one right here this is what i've seen a lot of people on youtube use and their nails come out looking flawless there's 500 pieces in here i made a mistake of ordering like two more of this because amazon messed up my order that's a whole nother topic but for now i have this one and there are 10 different sizes in this these are all nail tips and with different sizing so you can just adjust it you know like pick whichever one works for you basically i just gave myself a variety of options to choose from maybe i might want to try this or this one who knows but um why not have more right okay next item is the nail liquid so i think this is oh yeah this is the monomer y'all they sent two of this there's two of this in here which is super dope and y'all do know you don't really use like if you've ever seen the ladies at the nail salon they don't use a lot of like monomer they don't so to send you two of this next we have the brush i don't know why everything's so dusty okay this is the nail brush okay and i've heard that this is pretty good they brought a whole bunch of nail files it's like so many different nail files there's like a bunch these people hook you up they're not even stingy with it they just went off okay i'm gonna try to take one out and show you guys okay see that's one so there's like there's just a ton a ton of that in here and different um textures and stuff as well based on what part of the nail or what you're doing exactly they have what they call a rose oil and i think this um oh this is like cuticle oil so it's rose oil cuticle oil so like after you're done with your nails you put this over your cuticles they have this little i forgot what this thing is called but they have this thing right here and then this is the actual rose oil okay i'm excited next this is the swipe 
So I think this is what people use for when you're done with the nails to wipe off your nails. This is what they use, which is called the swipe. Okay, so that's the top. Okay, this is the thing right here. I like this. Okay, I'm so excited. I feel like a little kid opening their Christmas present or something. Okay, and then they have the free form. Um, personally for me, I don't think I'm a fan of free form just because it looks hard. <laughs> Maybe like, but knowing me, I might eventually want to upgrade and do like the hard stuff. But for right now, I don't think I'm going to be using the free form at all. Like that stuff's going to be lock sliding and you're going to try to, yeah, that's just too much. But in case you guys were wondering, yes, it comes in, it has free form as well. And it comes with tips. This is, okay, this is acrylic powder. So this is the color core extra 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 white meaning like french tip white y'all like french tip i've never been a fan of french tip but i low-key want to try a french tip like a gradient french tip and i saw this video of this girl doing one and it's so cute i think i'm gonna try that then why is everything so dusty <laughs> then they have oh no that's not dust that's glass bits <laughs> This is the glue. So this is their brush on glue. Then this is their protein bond, which I think is what they call a dehydrator. If you guys are familiar with that term, the dehydrator is what goes on your actual nail before you put the acrylic on top of your fake nail and or like your tips and your actual nail so that like the acrylic can hold onto your nail as well. This is the like suction thing that you squeeze monomer out and put into your glass. So that will go, you know, in here. Next powder is the core white acrylic powder. So I think this is just plain white. This would be super, super white. I don't really know. Maybe this is like French tip white and this could be like a soft gradient French tip white if you choose to do French tips. But so far we got two different um, colors in here. Next color is the core pink. So this would be like maybe similar to your nail bed, nail bed pink or a little pinker than that, but would be also great for like a natural look or like a um, French tip, you know, natural look. Then we have the core natural. So I think this, Oh, they had the clear too. They got, they gave me five different colors. This is the core natural. I don't know what color this is gonna be in. We, I'm just gonna find out then. We have the core clear. And then lastly, we have the finished gel. So this is their top coat gel. This is what you probably would use under the UV lamp, but because, yeah. But because I don't have a UV lamp right now, I can't do that. I went ahead and went to the dollar store and I bought a gel look imitating top coat that does not need a UV light, which is this right here. I'm um, sorry, I don't know if y'all can, okay. Which is this right here. I don't usually believe in these dollar store stuff, but a girl had to improvise, okay? And then I also got this. I ordered um, like cuticle clippers and stuff, but that isn't here yet. So I just improvised with what they had at the dollar store. Um, this is more like, I think a manual way of clipping your or sorry yeah this one it's a manual way of like clipping your cuticles and these are like cuticle pushers then i also have purchased on amazon this edge cutter this is a nail nail cutter so this is what's going to help you just clip instead of using scissors or if you have a straight edge um like nail clipper but i got like the proper one for your actual fake nails and i think it's adjustable it has instructions on the back but you just put your fake nail through it, clip it to get your length of what so you want. So this is all I have. I am so excited to try this. I've been dying to do this all week, but I couldn't because I was sick. But we're going to get right into this. So make sure y'all stay tuned to check out the next video.